Um, here we go. What have you got? So this is an almost final draft of the cover. We've got our own boxes produced. We've got our own cartridge mould produced. So as not to upset Sega, we've got our own logos on them. Big Evil Corporation cartridges there. Really uh, nice. So the physical side of it is nearly ready to go. All we need to do now is finish the game. We caught up with you, oh, how long ago was it? I finished the first level, which is split into three acts, and it's got most of the main mechanics running. I think you were about to run the Kickstarter, right? It was mid-Kickstarter, yeah. Mid-Kickstarter, yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, for those who haven't seen that video, your Kickstarter was successful, which, congratulations. Well, thank and you very much. Where are you at with it, then? What's, what's happening with the game? Um, yeah, it's taken uh, just over a year so far to get to this, this point from the Kickstarter. Uh, we're about 90% finished. There's a few audio things to fix, so up um, some bugs and it's going to head for closed beta testing so I expect in the next couple of months we should have our gold build. I understand things took off quite recently with uh, yeah you got a bit of exposure you weren't perhaps expecting. Yeah I did an interview for the BBC I had a PR campaign planned to drop at the same time as the video uh, it went a bit earlier than I expected. I was on my way to an event called Play Expo in Blackpool and I got a phone call saying that was on the TV so I had to quickly pull over on the motorway <laughs> at a Starbucks and quickly launch our website it was a bit of a hairy moment. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic have you had a lot more interest since that then? Yeah it's been quite manic the past couple of weeks since that interview went live uh, I've had other people contact me for magazine interviews and videos and uh, podcasts and things like that. It's been non-stop for the past couple of weeks. Let's be frank now, did you quit your job for this? Yes, I did quit my job for this, uh, for better or worse. <laughs> so what's, what's going on long term then? Uh, long term, uh, once we've finished up releasing the Mega Drive version, we're going to port it to the Dreamcast. Um, and then it's coming to modern consoles, hopefully, if the publishers are on board with it. Um, after that, we've got another two games up our sleeve, so we're going to do this all over again. You're saying we and us. Um, you work with people on this? Are they sort of like characters you work with all the time? Or what's, Yeah, what's uh, the... for, for the first game, I worked with some contractors. Um, it was mostly myself making the game, though. Um, for the next one, I'm not sure I could stomach it again, so I think I'm going to hire some staff. We see quite often people, indie games producers, getting stuck in a rabbit hole of working on their, their own game for years and years and years. How do you avoid that? Do you know? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but you've, you're How quite, that? No, I suppose the question is, it looks like you're getting near to completion, so it feels like there is light at the end of the tunnel, whereas we hear of games getting stuck in development hell, for want of a better word. Um, is, do you think this is something to do with the limitations of the devices you're working on rather than...? Yeah, I think that plays some part. Um, there's only so much we can do on the Mega Drive. Um, we can't upgrade the graphics engine. We can't add much more to it. We're out of ROM space. We're using all four megabyte of the cartridge, so there's nothing more we can do to the game. We've got no space in RAM, ROM. We've got no CPU cycles left. We've maxed the whole thing out, um, which uh, is a, both a curse and a blessing because we have to say this is it now, we've got to polish this up and release it and feature creep is, is not an issue here. When's the, uh, when are you slated for release? What's the latest kind of ETA? The plan is mid-2018, uh, we're, we're pencilling in late May, early June at the moment. And it has its own set of registers. These aren't general purpose registers for adding numbers and stuff, each one has a specific purpose. Uh, so one will be in control of the background colour um, 16 to D1, so we can see that D1 changes to 16 in hex, and then add the two together.